Hello ladies and gentlemen I am Dr Nick Nickum a cardiologist from Houston Texas Welcome to Dr Nick Medical Education The knowledge shared in this presentation is for educational and informational purposes only it is not a medical advice please consult with your physician for any precise medical advice or recommendations and please do subscribe to our YouTube channel In this presentation we are going to look at the cardiac malformations most commonly associated with certain congenital syndromes like Williams syndrome, Noonan's syndrome, Down syndrome, Turner syndrome and a couple of other ones. This is going to be like an interactive presentation where I am going to present you with a set of images I would like you to come up with a diagnosis and then we're going to discuss the various findings in those images so let us proceed here are a set of images what do you see here and what is your diagnosis please pause the video here for a second come up with your diagnosis then we will proceed further This is an example of a William syndrome. William syndrome is characterized by supravalvular aortic stenosis. As you can see here in the angiogram, here's the location of the aortic uh, leaflets and there is a constriction of the aorta in the supravalvular region. Similarly on an echocardiogram you can see narrowing of the aorta beyond the aortic leaflets the second characteristic feature that we find in patients with the williams syndrome is the peripheral pulmonary artery stenosis as we can see in this angiogram there are multiple pulmonary branches which show stenosis so these two findings namely supravalvular aortic stenosis and peripheral pulmonary artery stenosis are characteristic of williams syndrome let's proceed to the next set of images what do you see here and what syndrome does this represent take a moment pause the video come up with your diagnosis then we will proceed This is an example of Noonan syndrome which is characterized by pulmonic stenosis which is seen in approximately 50% of the patients along with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy which is seen in 20% of the patients with Noonan syndrome. Let's proceed. What do you see on these images and what syndrome does this represent? Pause the video. When you have made your diagnosis, you can continue. This is an example of Turner syndrome. As you know, Turner syndrome is characterized by bicuspid aortic valve along with aortic regurgitation in many cases, especially in the advanced stages, along with the coarctation of the aorta. So this question may be turned in many different forms. you may be presented with a picture of a coarctation of the aorta and to recognize associated congenital cardiac abnormalities or you could be presented with a patient with bicuspid aortic valve and identify other associated cardiovascular malformations such as coarctation of the aorta So keep in mind when you see a combination of bicuspid aortic valve or along with the coarctation of aorta you are dealing with the most likely Turner syndrome if if that's the best choice you have All right what syndrome does this represent Take a good look at both the pictures these are two dimensional echocardiogram pictures and when you are ready you can proceed This is an example of Down syndrome characterized by atrioventricular septal defect which is the most common form of congenital cardiac malformation we see in patients with the Down syndrome which is seen in 37% of the patients 
In 31% of the patients, we may see just isolated ventricular septal defect. Isolated atrial septal defect may be found in 15% of the patients, uh, and tetralogy is uh, seen in approximately 5% of the patients. So whenever you see atrioventricular septal defect, always think about uh, Down syndrome, if that's the best choice you have among the answers. What syndrome does this represent? When you are ready, you can proceed. Well, there are two major characteristics in these images. One, dilatation of the aortic root. As you can see, it is already marked here. For your benefit, it is a 6.24 centimeter. So grossly dilated aortic root along with the mitral valve prolapse. Well, yes, you were tricked because you are seeing a two-dimensional echocardiogram here and you are seeing a transesophageal echocardiogram as you can see by this uh, picture. And here we have the aortic root dilatation along with mitral valve prolapse, both in the same image. So Morphan syndrome, as you know, is characterized by aortic root dilatation along with mitral valve prolapse. These patients are prone for aortic uh, aneurysm and more often they are prone for aortic dissection. Here's a bonus point, halt orum syndrome, which is also known as halt hand syndrome. So they may quiz you on this one. 70% of these uh, patients have heart defects. The most uh, commonly seen cardiovascular defects include ventricular septal defect, atrial septal defect, and constriction of the aortic arch. Not coarctation, which you see in the distal descending thoracic aorta, but constriction of the aortic arch is associated with halt orum syndrome. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. If you want us to create an educational video on any other topic, please leave us a message. We'll be glad to create the video and explain those things in a much simpler manner. You can also check out our books on Amazon.com. Please check out our collection of hundreds of educational videos on our YouTube channel. You can share this information with your friends if it helps them and stay tuned for our next presentation. I am Dr. Nick Nickham. Thank you so much for your time.